Hi, I'm Bjorn Andersson and the Hanerian Western India together with Frank Lambert. And uh, Frank, you're one of the lucky and skillful guys which has found a new bird to science, actually really, really new. Can you please share with us the story about this? Um, of course, but uh, which species are you talking about? Talar rail? I'm talking about the Talar rail, yes. Okay, okay. so Talar rail I found uh, on an island called Talau, which is to the north of Sulawesi, quite close to Mindanao. Um, I went there to do some surveys on parrots, and on the first day where of the surveys, we had to rent a vehicle. But the only vehicle available was a, a public bus, a very large bus. So I was sitting in the front of the bus. We had only been in the bus about half an hour, just outside of town, really. And suddenly, this rail walked across the road, right in front of the bus, very slowly. Excellent view. And then uh, it, it disappeared into the grass. I got out of the car and it ran off calling and uh, I immediately, I was very excited, I realised it was a new species and uh, nothing in the book like it and um, I then uh, searched for it for the next six weeks or so uh, without any success but whilst I was searching I found another new species to science Talal Bushhead, I was uh, looking for the rail during my spare time whilst doing the surveys and uh, in a bit of the forest uh, I heard this call which I didn't recognise, I made a recording, played it back and suddenly after about five minutes I saw a head pop up, with, it, was a, it was a bush hen with a huge bill, a green bill and that was my first sighting of the Talon bush hen. Fantastic story. Back to the to the Talar Rail. Yes. Uh, it was quite an interesting story how it evolved when you were on the island. Yeah, because in fact, uh, just before I left the island, a few days, I fell ill, and I was convalescing in the hotel, and sending out my uh, counterparts uh, from the Ministry of Forestry to the market every day because I knew that they were catching birds, rails in particular, and selling them as food. And on the very last day on the island, they brought me the rail. And that now is the type specimen which is in the Bogor Museum in Java. Fantastic story. And I'm just interested in what was your reaction when your colleague came back with this rail in their hand from the market? Yeah, I was pretty shocked because it's, for a start, it's a very big bird and very, very strong. It was still alive. It was a live bird when they brought it from the market. They sell live birds. Very, very interesting because the, the colours around the face and everything. Uh, it's beautiful. It had this kind of a silvery sheen around the cheeks when it's alive. And Talo is, uh, is a very uh, remote island off uh, Sulawesi. And yeah. uh, how many people have seen this rail since you saw it? I know. I think only maybe one or two people. I don't. I don't know for sure. I think there is one guy from Belgium who saw it. Few years back, but it's a very difficult bird to see. The locals actually catch it using dogs, they chase the bird up into a tree, and I think they somehow then just catch it with their hands. Yeah. <laughs> Truly marvelous story. Thank you very much, Frank Lambert. This is Bjorn Andersson, and uh, we'll follow up with uh, new stories on this theme New Birds to Science. So, talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Frank. Thanks. Bye. Bye.